Hey guys, it's Thor Rosie here, and today I'm going to be doing a Barbie dollhouse tour. And I know I do tons of these, it's because my house updates a lot. So let's just get started with the tour. So we're going to start here in the parents' room. And here I have this hat, and in this chest, we just have some glasses. And then here's their dresser, and they have a few bags like this orange bag, this red bag and this golden bag on it and then here and here is Brooke's pants and Ethan's pants and Ethan's shirts and Brooke's shirts and dresses and here they have this little coat um hanger closet thing and then they have this um backpack and they have this fur rug and then up here they have a plant, a little lamp, this yarn thing, this baby monitor, baby rattle, a phone, a alarm clock, and then a light that works. Woo! Sorry there. And then I just have some pictures on the wall and then I made these cabinets for them. And then there's a TV and some more stuff. And over here, they have um, Brooks robe, and then they have this green pillow, these zebra stripe pillows, and this polka dotted pillow, and they have this green blanket, purple blanket, and then this star blue blanket. That is the parents' room. Next is the dining room. So in the dining room, we have the whole family, their pictures on the wall. Well, it's not technically the whole family because uh, they added a few dogs to their family. And so here we have this cheetah print rug. Then we have a baby high chair, this red chair that I made, table, this chair with a pillow on it, and then this chair, even though it's not enough chairs, when there's six people in the family. And then I have this bucket with some groceries and a package in it. And then I just have miscellaneous stuff in there and newspapers. And this is their little um, dock station. And so in here, I have a phone, the phone, which can open and close as well. So there's that. And then, whoops, here we have some headphones. And in this little sack, we keep their laptops. Whoops. <laughs> and then moving these, we have this whole um, bookshelf thing. And it's basically like they're lost and found. So moving over to the side, we just have the girls' boogie boards. Their feet go on there, and then they just boogie. Huh. Here's a kite. And now moving on to the laundry room. Here we have this little bucket with um, some vacuums and a broom. And then we have this trash can, this shelf, and on top of it we have oops, some downy and then a little book just fell in the trash can. And we have a bunch of stuff in there. And then right here we have her cleaning shoes, and I call them her cleaning shoes because they're very ugly shoes. And then moving over here is the main part of it. And so starting over here, we have this little bag that holds all of their strap hangers. And when I say that is because that opens and then you just put the strap around it. So that goes up there. Then we have some hangers and a rod and then we have a radio and some clothes and here we have the washer and dryer and this one is for wet clothes like after you go swimming or something um you just put the clothes in there and it'll get the chlorine out of it then we have more clothes in the laundry basket we have two dog bowls and a cat bowl and then the water bowl down there and then we have this swan with a sunflower in it all their organization tubs and two more organization tubs. And moving on to the kitchen. 
So moving into the kitchen, we have this rug, another high chair, this sink, which I made out of an Altoids can, and I just put this little thing on there that holds the soap and sponge and stuff. And in here we have a tart, this little um, mashed potatoes, and a meatloaf. And down here I have their oven mitts in a little crate. So there's that. And then we have their refrigerator, which has a lot of food in it. And then they have a clock. And then in here, we have their wine stash. And then in here, we just have more food and mess and stuff. And then there's the freezer. And in this little thing in between, we have the coffee maker, the blender, the popcorn maker, and two coffee cups. Over here, sorry about the glare, guys, we have the dishwasher. And then this little stove top that I made. Then they have the microwave that can open and close as well. Then I just keep popcorn in there in a popcorn bowl. And then in there, we just have a bunch of food. And then I got this from a garage sale. And then here we have food, all of their dishes, clean ones. And then in here, well, drawer, we have all of their pots and pans and industrial mixers. So that is the kitchen. Now we are going to move on to the second floor. So on the second floor is the bathroom and the family room. We're going to start with the bathroom. So there's stairs and then you come up and there's a blue rug. The bathtub and shower that I made. Pretty cool. And I have the little shower head up there. And then I have magazines, this little thing with some shampoos and stuff on it, and then the towel rack. And this is where they keep all of their Ooh. bathroom stuff, necessities, I guess you could call it. And then we have an annoying rail. And then under here we have a giant compact. Here's a giant compact, and it comes with these little brushes. That one I glued in, and all of them I glued in except for this one. I don't know why, but that and it does not rub off but it'd be cool if it did but it doesn't so i'm fine with that and that's a good idea for american girl all i did was cut out cardboard painted it we'll put hot glue globs on it and then painted it and this is an altoids lid and then with foam i just made a little lock system i guess you could call it but see Altoids. So that is the giant compact. Then we have a trash can, a step stool that the kids can step on, this little rug, um, I think two baby baths, and then two right there, and then a little belly. And then we have a stool, and here we have a brush, some hair stuff, um, toothbrush and toothpaste. Some soap bars, a rubber duck, soap, soap, and flossers, and then a rock. And over here, we have the toilet, and then a little toilet paper rack. And then we have a mirror behind the thing. And we have a window that I made. And then we have some flowers, a rug, and then a sewing machine, and then a, a bucket it's in. And then we have a little stand, which is a building block. So this is the last room on the second floor and this is the family room so coming in here you have a dog bed with a dog on it and then another dog bed with a dog on it and then another dog bed with a dog on it then i got these carpet samples from home depot and then here we have this little dog bed <laughs> with no dogs on it and then we have a rug right here and then we have this little stand i guess you could call it and then another carpet sample and then on it I have these roses um, some books more books and then a flashlight 
And then in this chair, we have Nikolai. And then here we have another carpet sample and another little stand. And on there we have a package and a checkers game. Right over here, whoops, by the stairs, we have this little plant. And then moving back over here, we have this speaker. And on top of it, we have this little tub with some tape on it, um, a clip, a necklace, a baby bottle, and then a pen. So there's that, and then on the couch that says family in the red letters, we have Lila, Ethan, and Brooke, the mom and dad, they're talking, and on the other speaker we have this remote, and what just fell was a picture of Nikolai when she was little, and then we have a picture of, uh, Brooke and her friend, another picture of Brooke and her friend, a picture of Brooke, then a rose, and then some books, um, a Pitch Perfect 2 movie, this little tub filled with stuff in it, and then we have this little planetarium, and then we have different movies in here. Then moving down, we have a radio, a bowling ball in that little drawer. Then we have some blankets. Moving up here, we have um, another book stash. Oops, keep dropping stuff. This little iPod. Uh, another book that I made from my Froggy Stuff tutorial. Fill your book. And then we have this little basket. And behind it, we have another picture frame. Here we have a chandelier with a camera hanging from it. We have a bunch of stuff up here. And then some um, wall stuff. And here we have the stairs and this dog, that dog, that dog, that dog. Those are the puppies they had. And then over here we have the TV. And behind it we have this little hat stand. So that is the second floor. Now we're going to move up to the third and final floor. So starting with the kids' little um, room, we have two fold-out couches, um, this little table with a cupcake arm out and a purse on it. Then we have this little, this little carpet sample, and then we have TV. Some little trees on it that I got from a garage sale. And we have a fireplace down there. And then now we're moving to the kids' room. And this is Nikolai's and Lila's room. And they have this little um, cupboard as well. And this is Lila's bed Oops. with some pillows on it. And this little bunny that just fell. And then she has an L. And then she has... Uh, well, they have this dollhouse that I made for them. Then they have some posters hanging up. And then they love duct tape. So they have this two things of duct tape. And then they have a piggy bank on this little platform, I guess you could call it. They have two, three backpacks. This is filled with animals. And then this is their dirty clothes. Here is their American Girl doll and her American Girl bed. And then they have this little toy and then this Build-A-Bear. And then they have a cat tree with Daisy and Marty on it. And here is Nikolai's bed and she has this little dress on it, this pillow, this stuffed animal, and then two other pillows. So that's the girl's room. Moving over is the baby's room, and she has this paper tube dollhouse that I made for her. And then she has this little basket with a little jacket in there, and her backpack, and some My Little Pony cards, little posters. And then she has this little circuit board she can play with, this little um, bead thing that I made. And then there's just a bunch of rattles, some baby toys. And here we have her little carrier for when she goes in the car. 
And then we have her diaper changing table with some wipes and diapers. And then she has this um, car seat. And then she has this little pony. And here's her crib. It's really big for this little girl. And then she has some posters and her name is Amara. And then moving over to the last room of the house. This is Reina, the teenager's room. And she has this little chest filled with bags, this garbage can, oh, and she has this little purse. And then she has her dirty clothes, this bean bag, her TV. Um, she has a guitar and several bags and a pair of shoes behind it. And she has her nightstand with some stuff on it. Moving her somewhere or other than her room. She has this chest filled with clothes. She has that cupboard filled with clothes. She has a scarf on it. She has several posters in her room. And then she has a bunch of books and dolls and miscellaneous stuff. And hoverboard and stuffed animals. And crowns and stuff. And purses. And then she has this little um, box with dolls in it. A chandelier. Um, a CD player and a speaker. She has a calendar. And then she has her cabinet thing. And up there she has a chest. And then this bowl. And then... Yes, her bed, obviously, and she has this um, little blanket, and then she has a blue little comforter with jewels and butterflies and flowers all over it, and then she has this mermaid stuffy, um, a bear stuffy, she has a, a monster high pillow, and then she has this white lace pillow, a fur pillow, and then she has a striped pillow. So that is her room. It's the most packed room in the house, I think. So that is my dollhouse tour. And I have to show you one more thing. Behind that little stool is where they keep all of their cars. I hope you guys liked my tour. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.